There are two things to be cautious about. One is not recognizing the acute symptomatic seizure. So if the person is unresponsive um, and has a uh, subdural hematoma, not recognizing that they may be in status is a you know something to be very cautious about. Second, as I had mentioned, under treating uh, the acute symptomatic seizure is uh, a big danger. So if the person receives two milligrams of Ativan and they stop shaking or they stop convulsing, you may not be finished. So there may be continued uh, continuous EEG seizures underneath of that. And so that uh, changes their prognosis and changes their chances for long-term epilepsy. So under-treating is a big uh, problem. And then finally, over-treating. <laughs> so after the seizures have stopped, after they are no longer in the acute phase of their illness, um, then leaving them on three, four, five uh, anti-epileptic drugs can really be harmful for the patient and can lead them to be discharged from a nursing home and never you know, regain the consciousness that they can. So uh, after that acute period, you want to you know, use the EEG monitoring to withdraw the medicines and uh, do this in a rational way so that we can wake the patient up and get them out on a rational polytherapy that'll keep them no seizures, no side effects.